Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. Today we are checking out the Airy SMB2 production mat box. This is a 4x5.650 or Panavision size mat box and it shares a lot of the features of its bigger brother, the SMB1. To really appreciate how this has been designed and put together, I'm going to do a series of cutaways showing its unique features. One of the key elements of the SMB2 is its versatility. And looking at the sunshade, I have it set up right now for spherical photography. However, I can change this out and make it into an anamorphic matte box. And to do so, I have six uh, self-retained screws here that come off with a three millimeter metric Allen wrench here. Take this off. And now I can go ahead and put the anamorphic shade on if I want. Both the spherical and the anamorphic shades uh, have a full set of mats that can go in front. Also notice by having the ability to take this shade off quickly it also allows me if I need to to get physically closer to a subject. The mats are installed quickly and easily onto the mat box. On each side there is a little lip in which the mat fits into so it's simply a matter of clipping it in and you're ready to go. Also notice at the bottom here it's indicating that it's for an SMB2. Also there's a number designating uh, the appropriate uh, focal lengths that this could be uh, used for and also notice that it is telling you that it is a spherical mat. In addition to the mat system that we looked at, the SMB2 has the traditional eyebrow and sidebrow setups. However, it does have this unique hinge uh, design, namely this silver tab here. If I push in on this, it allows me to quickly and easily make big changes to the angle on the eyebrow. Once I disengage or let go of that silver tab, it allows me to use the thumb screw here to make finer adjustments. In addition to that, if I bring this back into this position, the whole thing folds in on itself and it makes for a much smaller profile when I need to store it in a case. The side brows have the same type of hinge mechanism so I can fold this out, engage the silver button, swing it in, make my fine adjustment, and then bring up and get rid of the gap there. The eyebrow also has an extension so if I want I can extend it out. If I don't use it I take it back into its stowaway position and it stays there because it has a magnet. If you've used other airy matte box systems such as the MB14, MB20, MB28, you're familiar with how the uh, rod adapters attach to the matte box assembly. And the SMB2 is no different. Uh, I have a slightly different configuration here, which I'll talk about in just a second. But to change out rails, I simply loosen this up and now I'm able to roll it off on these geared rails, swap it out for the appropriate size, roll this back in, and now I'm ready to lock this off. And we're good to go. One of the unique features that can be incorporated into the SMB2 is this tilt mechanism. I'll give you a wide cutaway and show you how this is affecting uh, my sunshade. But it consists of this knurled knob here. And as I turn this, what it allows me to do is to change the angle of the sunshade that's holding the filters relative to the lens. This can be very helpful with lighting sources that are coming directly at the camera, such as headlights, strong backlights, things of that nature. Any kind of light source that allows the possibility for a reflection between filters, this tilting mechanism helps to eliminate this phenomena. Now, you can adjust it here with this knurled knob. There's also a mechanism here to allow you to put in what looks like a mini focus whip into the back and adjust it that way as well. Along with the tilt mechanism, you have this unique bellow system that interfaces between the lens and the matte box. So on the one side, I have my uh, 114 here for my master prime to match the 114 diameter of the lens. And on the other side, I have this uh, ribbed section that will interface into the opening here. And the unique thing about this is that as I tilt, you'll notice that it allows me to change my angle to prevent any light coming in from behind the lens and reflecting onto the filter. 
In order to properly align the bellows with our front element of our lens, we use the eccentric control. It's a two-step process on the SMB2. I'm going to use my metric three millimeter wrench here. I'm going to loosen the tie down. Then I'm going to insert it here. And by rotating it, you'll now see the change in the angle of my sunshade. In addition to the bellow system for our tilting section here, you also have the more traditional back thing to go on, which is the rubber bellows with the inserts for the appropriate lens diameter. Now this gives us the ability on the back side here that clips into this matte box to have a 138 filter. The filter section of the SMB2 is built for versatility and I have it stripped down uh, to these guides right here which will accept different filter stages. Here I just have the ring that accepts the bellows. If I want to put just this on, uh, the same is true of the filter stages. It simply has this rail system. So I put it on, guide it in, and it snaps in. To take it out, pull back on the lever here, pull out, and now I'm ready for my next build. I've installed a two-stage filter section and notice on my second filter here I have this little rail system and that corresponds to the gear on the bellows section. So as I turn this knob I'm able to change the orientation of a grad or an attenuator. Also notice I'll hold this up to the light a little bit so you can see this. There's also uh, a machined knob here so that I can put the mini whip in here. So that mini whip would allow me to change the uh, filter uh, registration. It also would allow me to change the angle of the tilt here on the housing. The SMB2 can be used in 15 or 19 millimeter studio setups as well as lightweight setups. That wraps up my look at the Airy SMB2 matte box. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.